Hi everyone, it's Dr. Omar Mohammed, an intern at Gama Medical College, Calicut, and I'm excited to be back at my channel after a break of six months. My last video was uploaded in January, and then I suddenly disappeared on my social media handles, and here I am back on YouTube. So this video is just a quick life update, I would say, like why did I quit YouTube or why did I take a break? In a sense, this video is just me speaking about uh, why I took a break. So if you are interested to hear this side of the story, you can stay. Otherwise, you could just watch something else. So at the end of 2023, I had to think about the next part of my life. My MBBS training is coming to an end. And now it's time to decide what I want to do with my life. So five years of MBBS done. Now I have entered my internship. And at the end of internship, the question really came to me like, what next? What is the next part of life? And I always wanted to continue in the medical sector itself. So my plan is and was to pursue post-graduation. But the question really was, where do I wish to pursue my higher education do i wish to pursue it here in india itself or some place abroad and that's when i started to really research regarding the residency programs which is a medical pros graduation at different countries like us uk australia in india i don't really know what uh, the situation is so i was looking uh, at other options and that is when after a thoughtful discussion with my friends, my family, my peers, I decided to pursue my higher education in the United States. If you are not aware of to pursue your medical post-graduation in the US, you have to complete a series of examination. It's basically a long process. It's a journey that takes around one to two years. So you really have to plan it ahead. You can't suddenly jump into that. And for that reason, I took a big break to really um, get into the completion part of the United States examination or what we call as the USMLEs. And because this was such a big decision, I knew that this is a really crucial part of my life and I have to give complete focus over the next six months to get to where I am today. So let me just uh, take you through into what happened over the last six months. Well, my clinical postings got entered at December 31 of last year and January was when I had my model examinations. And that's also the time when I started to prepare for my USMLEs. So USMLE basically has two sets of examination. Basically, it's a three set examination, but you need to complete two sets in uh, two steps in order to apply for your residence in US. And I decided to take my step one which is an eight hour long examination and usually it takes around three to four months of preparation so at the end of uh, january i really got into my step preparation bear in mind that i was also having my final year exams which is a crazy thing which is the craziest um, period during your mbbs days the most hectic period i would say so the final year exams were due in March, but I still decided to take the risk and put my final years aside and prepare all in all for my step one because I had to get my step one done. I felt like I was already late on the USMD journey, even though I wasn't. I had an urgency to complete my step one as soon as possible. And that was one of the reasons why I quit YouTube as well, because I really don't have time for everything uh, to do all these things together. So the month of February came and I was completely immersed in studies. I was completely immersed on my step one preparation. I'll be doing more videos on my USMLE journey. They are going to be coming. Also, for the record, if anyone wants mentorship for their USMLE journey, I have uh, started that as well. You can join it. You can put a comment down. I, I'll be getting into those details later on in the future videos. Hopefully, I'm working more on that. Every day during the month of February, I would spend 10 hours a day purely studying. I didn't even record the journey. I was that immersed in academic side that even recording those videos was not possible. Also, I was studying uh, inside my hostel and the setup is not really that aesthetic enough to shoot. That's also one of the reasons why I did not 
shoot much of these behind the scenes stuff because it was uh, not at all aesthetic. As I was preparing for my step one, a crazy idea just came to me that uh, why not try step two as well? Usually the trend is people take step one, they study three to four months or maybe up to six months for step one. They give it usually during the third or final year. And then after the end of MBBS, they do the internship and at the end of MBBS, they attempt the step two examination. And step two, again, it's a really important examination. It is a scored examination, unlike step one, which is a pass or fail examination. Step two is a scored examination. It is a single attempt examination, which means that uh, if you pass, you can't change your scores. Unlike step one, which is a pass or fail examination where you don't get your scores. So therefore, there are a lot of stakes associated with the step two examination. And usually students take uh, it after their MBBS to be on the safer side. And step two, again, it itself takes around four to six months of preparation. But I had this crazy idea like why don't I just complete all the examinations for now so that I could just finally enter internship in peace and I could finally be done with all these postgraduate examinations. And that is when in the middle of uh, uh, my step one preparation that is at the starting of February I decided to prepare for step two as well. So now I was preparing for step one and step two and my final year university examinations were due in March. As you can expect, it's like a lot of pressure. But frankly, I was not at all stressed or burned out during the period because I had fairly good confidence regarding the final year exams. I knew that I, will, I would pass anyway. So therefore, I didn't stress much about final year. But step one and step two, yes, it uh, was a hectic period during the month of February. And then March came, I was immersed in my final year theory university examinations and we had the practical examination. And in between the uh, theory and practical examinations, I had to go back and forth uh, to prepare for step one and two. And finally, by April 30th, I was done with uh, all my final year examinations. And once I was done with that, I decided to give my step one two weeks later that is on the middle of May I gave my step one examination so you could just imagine how hectic uh, the period must have been especially those within the med medical fraternity are aware of that so after 75 to 80 days of preparation I gave my step one examination I gave it early because it was a pass or fail examination but more importantly I had good practice scores on my practice examination so I was really confident that I would pass step one so I gave step one then I took a small break or a vacation you could say and in between that I had applied for a research internship during the month of February at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore so Indian Institute of Science Bangalore was doing a flagship uh, internship program for the final year MBBS students. I applied for it around 5,000, 6,000 students apply every year. I was glad to be uh, one of the 35 students across the whole country to be selected for that research internship. I'll be posting a video about my life during the uh, internship at Indian Institute of Science that will be coming uh, in the next few days. I'm also glad to be the only student from my state, Kerala, to be selected for this internship. So in June, I went to Bangalore. I did one month of internship and I was simultaneously preparing for my step two examination. My plan was to give step two before the end of July because there are a few reasons. One, um, I had to start my internship. So I need to get my step two done before internship. Once internship starts, it's, it's really hectic and it's very difficult to go back to your studies. Second, there were uh, personal matters which I had kept aside because of this uh, hectic academic uh, studies and stuff which were important and which I had to take a decision on. Finally, my best friend and my roommate was getting married so I told him that I would complete my steps before his marriage and that's what ha happened as well. I did my step two a day before two days prior to his marriage. The stakes were really high. I did my internship in Bangalore. 
it was a calm environment the working culture there was really really good i had excellent exposure to clinical research uh, at uh, indian institute of science i was part of uh, cbr which is the center for brain research and i was involved in a project uh, related to alzheimer's disease and its disease uh, pathogenesis and while i was working as an intern i also prepared for my step 2 i used to do around anywhere between 80 to 160 questions depending upon the day the weekends were off so i would work harder for my step 2 during the weekends and i was done with my internship at the end of june and july for 3 weeks i was completely dedicated for my step 2 preparation i gave my step 2 and that was it and that day that i gave my step 2 on july 25th and when i walked out of the examination by the way step 2 is an inr examination i will be coming with more videos uh, regarding that when i came out of the examination hall uh, from the pro metric after my step 2 i had such a big sigh of relief that all the hard work that i did during the past 6 months it's finally over i also felt really good about the exam the exam wasn't that bad it was much easier than the practice examinations which i took and since step 2 is a single attempt examination um, there are lots of self doubts during the journey like should i really risk it and write the examination so early because if i messed it up i just messed my whole usmle journey it's like a really really important examination but thankfully with the grace of god i performed really well and in fact i scored 269 yeah that's it's it's an amazing score it's like at the 97th percentile and i'm just happy to have done that so basically that was it that was the reason why i did not post any videos on youtube i was uh, receiving messages from neat aspirants from followers on different social media handles during this period asking why i stopped uh, youtube so this is my answer this is basically a small life update video also what next well uh, i'm starting my internship at uh, gmc calicut itself i have one year internship to do and i now have to start looking for rotations in us and i probably will be uh, applying for match either in 2026 or 2027 and just a bit confused about it if any one of you who is watching this video uh, if you can guide me about the match process more uh, just uh, help me in the comments i'll just contact you just put your email or your whatsapp or your contact uh, please do help me in this regard and yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, i'm excited to enter my internship and in the future i'll be coming with more videos regarding my step 1 step 2 final year medicine content and life in general as i've said earlier i am also starting my mentorship for people who are interested in the usml journey if you are looking for that you could just uh, again once again mention that in the comments so that's it thank you for watching this video see you soon in the coming videos